Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Mercedes. Where technical director James Allison has said he would like to take a deeper dive into the inner workings of Red Bull. As we know Red Bull dominated 2023, but instead of coming to 2024 with a similar concept, the car has changed quite a bit and takes inspiration from old Mercedes cars. The biggest changes seem to have been made to the cooling of the car, with vertical inlets being used underneath the sidepod to help cool the car for example and this was something similar to what Mercedes had in 2022 when they were using a zero pod. And Allison said he would like to be invited by Rebel to look closely into the RB20. I would deeply love to be invited into the Rebel garage to take their engine cover off and delve around under those snorkly things. There's definitely a different approach taken there because what glimpses you see of the cooling system is definitely not light, so they're doing that for a reason. I would love to know what that reason is, but we haven't figured it out yet. Now Red Bull do enter the season as favourites, given how they destroyed the competition last year, but other teams have made big steps heading into this season, especially Mercedes and Ferrari, like both their cars look a lot better going into 2024 and much better over a long distance. Like from a Ferrari point of view, they seem to have got rid of tyre wear, while Mercedes seem to have got rid of the difficult rear end that hindered them in 2023. Now I did another video recently where I discussed how Ferrari were looking strong in race pace, even quicker than Red Bull at times, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And while we didn't see the true pace of Mercedes in testing, there were also apparently indications that the W15 could be faster than the Ferrari in race trim. And now Alison has said that he thinks Mercedes is ahead of Ferrari on race pace in a pecking order prediction. He was quoted by Italian publication Formula One at Uno as saying, Red Bull are in front, if you look at their race run it's quite fierce. Behind, there are several strong teams in the chasing pack. Ferrari seems okay, we seem okay. Alonso just did a pretty fair run, that would be my guess of the three chasers. In precisely what order I'm not sure, I think we look slightly better on the long runs, but a little behind Ferrari on the single lap stuff. I think a lot will depend on who has a good week between now and then. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.